So previously we performed a signal multiplication on the basic uh, signal such as step ramp and we performed a signal multiplication operation on them. So in this video we are going to perform signal multiplication on uh, uh, some random signals of different uh, shapes. So here we have two signals okay uh, x1t and x2t and we have to perform signal multiplication on them. So as per the definition of signal multiplication at each time instant we have to multiply the amplitude values of the signal respective amplitude values okay. So here in x1t we'll start from 0 at t equals to 0 the amplitude value of x1t is 2 and at t equals to 0 the amplitude value of x2t is 1 so 2 into 1 at t equals to 0 is equal to 2 so 2 at t equals to 1 this is very important and I also mentioned it in the signal addition videos that here when whenever there is a transition either from top to down bot top to bottom or bottom to top high to low low to high 2 to 1 1 to 2 that's kind of when there is a sharp transition you have to consider both the values so here it is 2 here it is 1 so we have to consider both of them at t equals to 1 x1 t has two values 2 and 1 because of this downward transition but here in x2 t it has only one value 1 so for this it will be t equals to 1 will be 2 into 1 which is equal to 2 and 1 into 1 which is equal to 1 okay so like this t equals to 1 this and for this one it will drop down to 1 okay these two then t equals to 2 at t equals to 2 this has a value 1 and this has a value 2 so 1 into 2 equals to 2 t equals to 2 again it increases to 2 2 okay then at t equals to 3 it has a value 0 and but here there is a downward transition so we will consider both the values that is 2 and 0 but will not matter because 0 multiplied with anything be it 2 or 0 it will be 0 so 0 into 2 is 0 also 0 into 0 is 0 so at t equals to 3 it will be 0 the resultant value so here 0 at t equals to 3 so this is the um, the signal multiplied of x1t and x2t the multiplied signal this is the output okay so all we have to do is determine the amplitude values at the respective time instants then we have to multiply at each of these time instants the amplitude values and we'll get the result okay so here we have another uh, two signals on which we have to perform signal multiplication so both of them are rectangular pulse signals we've already discussed about them so we have to perform signal multiplication okay so as per the definition we have to multiply their amplitude values at respective instants so here this signal it exists from minus 3 to plus 3 time interval and then it has an amplitude value of 1 this signal it exists from minus 10 to plus 10 and has an amplitude value of 2 okay so this signal from minus 10 to minus 3 
it has a value 0 and also if we extend it to 10 say plus 10 it has a value 0 now in this output from minus 10 to minus 3 from plus 3 to plus 10 one of the amplitude values is 0 so 0 when multiplied from minus 10 to minus 3 and from plus 3 to plus 10 no matter it has an amplitude 2 here in x2t but here it is 0 0 multiplied with anything will give us 0 so in the output from minus 10 to minus 3 this will have 0 and this is minus 3 okay and plus 3 to plus 10 also it will have a value 0 okay because it has 0 here one of the signals here is 0 so anything multiplied with 0 is 0 so here from minus 10 to minus 3 it is 0 and from plus 3 to plus 10 also it is 0 okay even though it is 2 here the value is 2 here but here it is 0 so 0 multiplied with 0 is 0 now from minus 3 to plus 3 it is 1 from minus 3 to plus 3 here it is 2 so from minus 3 to plus 3 in this duration this interval we will multiply x1 t into x2 t means 1 into 2 which is equal to 2 so here the amplitude will increase from 1 to 2 from minus 3 to plus 3 the signal exists it has a value 1 here in this duration it has a value 2 so it will be this 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 is the output okay minus 10 to minus 3 plus 3 to plus 10 it is 0 because here it is 0 so 0 multiplied with anything is 0 from minus 3 to plus 3 here it is 1 from minus 3 to plus 3 here it is 2 1 into 2 is equal to 2 so from minus 3 to plus 3 it is equal to 2 okay so this is signal multiplication on some random signals okay so here we have discussed some basic concepts related to signal multiplication so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much